In this part we are going to render our bars and the first thing we are going to do is creating a file named bar.js where we have uh, bar components. So let's import React from React and export default our components. So we will receive bar, we will receive index height, uh, bar width, uh, bar space, and center bar index, and uh, height of the highest bar, let's call it highest, and start index, it's first bar that will be rendered, and here first we will calculate bar total width. Bar total width equal to bar width plus bar space. Uh, then we are going to take real index. It will be equal to index plus start index. And uh, x position of our bar will be bar total width uh, multiplied by index and plus bar space and let's write functions that will return uh, will convert value to height value and return value multiplied by height and divide by highest and let's return a SVG element, so it will be G, and inside of G we are going to render bars, so we write bar map, and we are going to pass only items here, so in we will map over value and color. Let's take index. And value before will be equal to sum of bar slice zero to index. And let's uh, create some function. Uh, we're going to make it in utils. Let's create a file named utils.js. And here we will export function sum. And sum equal to array. It will return array reduce accumulator value and egg plus value. All right. Then let's write props. We are going to pass to our subbar. Uh, it will be value, color, value before, and k will be our index. So let's return subbar here and pass props to it like this. And of course, we need to write function for subbar. Let's write it right inside our component. So const subbar here we'll receive value color value before and let's calculate rect height. We will use value to height function for this purpose. And let's calculate Y. It will be height minus value to height value before and minus rect height. And finally, we are going to return rect. Uh, and let's make something here. Uh, let's write here like if 
uh, we have selected bar we our opacity will be equal to one otherwise to zero or six so we can understand what which bar is selected x that will be equal to x y to y width bar width here and height bar height and let's fill this rect with color like this and finally we need one more rect so if we have function on bar select let's render selectable and let's create this component selectable uh, we write direct here and let's specify parameters so uh, on click we are going to call on bar select and pass real index to it uh, cursor will be pointer here and x will be equal to x minus uh, bar space divided by 2 width uh, will be of bar total width y equal to 0 height equal to height fill uh, will be transparent so we won't see this component but uh, when user click on this we will have new bar, select bar and let's add also on touch end so it will work on fonts too so we we'll receive event and then uh, we'll call on bar select real index and don't forget about prevent default we finish the bar component and let's use this component in our index chess the same way as we did with labels let's create function bars const bars if uh, we don't know height we will return null since we can't render in bars if we don't know height and let's declare bar command props uh, those will be the same across all bars we are going to render it will be start index height bar width bar space uh, center bar index index and on bar select and highest and we don't know uh, center bar index let's take it from props also we need to take on bar select from props and we need to calculate uh, what is the highest bar out there so uh, let's calculate it let's make it let's write this here so let's write like highest equal to bars map and we are going to take bar items and reduce so first we'll have accumulator bar and here we're going to take height by using some function and you return if height uh, bigger than accumulator height otherwise accumulator and we are going to start from zero and we need to return not all bars but only uh, bars that we need to render yes yeah, so we need to calculate sliced bars and we 
are going to parse slice start index and last index and last index will be equal to mass dot sale and we're going to take total width plus old offset plus offset if offset mm, is less than old offset we're going to take old offset minus offset otherwise zero and we'll divide all of this by bar total width so then we are going to return sliced bars map over them take items and also index and here we will return our bar and let's here specify common props bar we will pass items uh, index will be equal to index and k will be equal to index 2 now we need also change bars view so we'll have svg and also let's remove console log and let's check this out so we have these nice bars and we can change bar space and we can change bar width and we can change bars number yeah so it's time we generate new bars here but we don't have one very important scene now we want to click on bar and have animation so this bar go on, goes on center so let's make this and in order to have this nice animation we need to change all the set and offset properties of our state and in order to do this we are going to create one more method here and it will be static uh, get derived uh, state from props it will receive next props and prep state uh, and this is also one of the react lifecycle methods so let's take read offset and scrolling uh, from prep state and if uh, read uh, if we don't have read we'll return null so we can compute anything if we don't know read and then we are going to take center bar index bar width and bar space and bars from next props and uh, there's also parameter scrolling and uh, when we will implement scroller uh, this nice component it will represent when users start scrolling our bars and when users start scrolling uh, this variable will be equal to true but now let's specify instead that scrolling is actually false all right uh, next we are going to calculate bar total width by uh, uh, using bar width and bar space then we are going to calculate total width by multiplying uh, bars len uh, by bar by bar and plus bar space and we need bar space because we want to have offset at the end of bars and at the start now we are going to write function get new offsets uh, here we'll check if center bar index not equal to undefined 
and not scrolling we are going to check one more time if total width is less than width we don't have any animation if we return um, boss old uh, old offset equal to zero and offset equal to zero two then we can uh, calculate offset to center to center to be equal to total width minus bar multiplied on center bar index and minus width plus bar divided by 2 and let's also write function get offset and it will check if offset to center less than 0 we are going to return 0 if offset to center plus width uh, more than total width we are going to return total width minus width and otherwise we are going to return offset to center and here we are going to return offset get offset and all offset will be, uh, will be equal to current offset like this and, and here we are going to return uh, pref state uh, we'll get new offset and total it now let's take a look at our board charts and we have this nice animation now and as you can see when we go to the end we don't have animation because we have this rule here so when offset to center plus width is more than total width we will return total width minus width and we doing this because uh, we don't want this end as this last bar to be on center so we always we want uh, bars always to fill the entire space so yeah something like this and in the next part we actually are going to add labels to those bars, so stay tuned.